Welcome to episode 11 of Broken Prism Reviews. Today we have Spare Parts by Kevin Warner. Available on the Game Crafter. First we're going to have a look at the parts deck. As you can see from here it's really simple art. You've got the lungs. Then under that you have the heart. Then under that we've got the brains. Then after that we have some hands. And ears. And what's the last thing here? Eyes. So those are the parts that make up your zombies. Here are an overview of all the zombies. We'll zoom through here. It shows you the color symbol for the colored card that you need to be able to complete that zombie. Basically those are like mana costs in Magic. You'll play those parts to bring that zombie into play. Then you see every zombie has a special ability. So some zombies will be um, more advantageous than others to bring into play. Some are actually um, a hindrance if you accidentally play them or you can play them on another player. But this is what adds the uh, variety to the game here is all these cool power cards, cool special powers they have. Now I'm going to walk you around the rule book here. So here's some of the uh, flavor right here. I'll let you have to just know that you're a student trying to be an heir to Dr. Frankenstein's legacy. Uh, the only boom that can stop you are Dr. Frankenstein's other students. Now we'll cover your goal to win is to be the first player to collect six completed zombies in their army pile. Components for 54 zombie cards, 44 spare parts. For setup, you'll need two to four players comfortable with zombie violence in 30 to 60 minutes to devote to world domination. Each player gets a hand of five cards and you'll play the cards out in front of each player as tables. Gameplay step one is fresh corpses. Each player starts with two lab tables and can work on two zombies at a time. At the start of your turn, fill any empty lab tables with the new zombie cards from a draw pile. Rules variants. There's some Oregon market. Recommended for casual players. You can negotiate with other players to trade spare parts. Secret lab. This keeps your zombies turned face up with the right number and type of spare parts cards are attached. Parts is parts, which lets you bluff and you play your parts face down, which is kind of cool because you can kind of totally lie. Here's an overview of the zombie card itself. It's cost there at one, its name, its special ability. Check mark means it only triggers when the zombie is completed. The other means discard. Step two is draw two cards for spare parts. Step three is play parts from your hand to attach them to zombies on your lab tables with matching costs. No limit to the number of cards you can play in a turn. Play complete zombies multiple turns, and so on. Step four, it's alive. It's, uh, when you're completed, you do what they need to do. And here's a cool little Frankenstein zombie guy. Quick turn order reminder. Fill empty tables of zombies, draw cards, play parts, use zombie special abilities, discard. Any other questions, feel free to e email info at sparepartsgames.com. We are talking about Spare Parts by Kevin Warner. Um, doing a little different again. I'm moving soon, so I've got stuff everywhere. But I wanted to say, um, I really like this game, uh, and rightly so. It's a quick card game. You uh, have your lab tables. You will play out your zombies, um, and then on your turns, you'll be playing your parts cards, drawing more parts cards, and then with some of the cool rule variants, like I showed you, you can swap cards with the other players, kind of like you do with Catan with resources, um, draw and trade. That's great. But the game's a much more deep because you have all the special abilities of the zombies. Some grant you extra lab tables, some let you destroy parts in progress or take parts from another player. There's a lot of great um, trickery afoot with spare parts. I think it's a cleverly designed game. I um, wouldn't kind of say it's approved. Uh, the Artwork for the parts is really, really sparse, which I can understand um, a need for that. So it's color coded and a clear symbol, but just using the symbol from the card uh, from the zombie on as the full card just seems uh, shy to me. It seems like there could be, um, you know, much more involved art like with the zombies on the card uh, for the different organs or parts, and then maybe the symbol in the top corner. Or the symbol in the center or something so you know that's the symbol it matches to especially when you have a whole deck of what you know is just drawing parts deck uh, it's my only really complaint um, but it does put it at a, a 7 out of 10 on board game geek for me so as you know my approved status comes in at the 8 of 10 on board game geek and I'm it's just just shy of that 
Really great game. Still would recommend it. Probably going to put it into um, a list of games. I'm curating some games for other events and things, and this will probably end up on there, although it's not quite um, an approved game. Sorry, but uh, that's just how it is. So thanks for checking out Broken Prison Reviews. Be sure to check out other members of the Geek Cast Network, uh, All Us Geeks, The Game Huntress. You can go to Geek castnetwork.com and get a whole list of those two ball geeks royal monster battalion um and and many many more uh just head on over there and check out our uh crew thanks